Uh, let's start with this extraordinary young woman who has clearly achieved so much in her young life. Charlotte Owen, who's 30, nominated to the Lords in Johnson's resignation honours list and took up her seat yesterday. She will now be known as Baroness Owen of Alderley Edge. And of course, she'll sit as a Conservative. Extraordinary. Uh, so young and she's achieved so much. Let's just read her biography for you in case you're sitting there thinking, how can I get into the House of Lords? Well, she graduated at the University of York in 2015 with a degree in politics and international relations. She was a parliamentary assistant to the Conservative MPs Alex Sharma, of course, Boris Johnson, don't quite know how long she was with Boris Johnson, but she was with him for a little period. Uh, and Sir Jake Berry from 2017 until 2021. She worked as an advisor to Johnson during her time uh, as Prime Minister and his successor, Liz Truss, and Chris Heaton uh, Harris. She's accused of exaggerating her experience a little bit uh, by saying that she served as an intern for George Osborne for a month in 2011. Uh, people are slightly bewildered about her time uh, in number 10 and how it is that she so successfully found herself on that list alongside people like Sean Bailey. Remember Sean Bailey? He, he was partying uh, in uh, Conservative Central Office, uh, you might remember, and he had that unsuccessful bid against Sadiq Khan last time round. He also comes into the uh, uh, House of Lords. So Charlotte Owen is going to now be making our laws. No one can understand how she got there. Do you remember? remember? Let's just go back a few years when Boris Johnson was prosecuting this argument. It was a, you know, a, 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 a passionate argument that he was making that we needed to get out of the European Union because it was unaccountable. <laughs> well, uh, he's gone one further because it now looks like he's stuffing the House of Lords with people to make laws on behalf of us. And no one, no one has a clue why this young woman is in the House of Lords. But maybe I'm being unfair. And if you think I'm being unfair and our Prime Ministers of the day should put whoever they want into the House of Lords, call me on 0345 6060973. Or maybe like me, you think the second chamber needs reform or to be abolished uh, in fact what why what do people those people that make arguments for having the house of commons tend to talk about the fact that it brings experience to bear so the house of commons is stuffed full of political types who are partisan as they approach policy the house of lords generally speaking has people who are expert in particular fields expert lawyers uh, expert media barons, expert captains of industry. Um, you know, uh, some say the bishops shouldn't be there. Some say they should because they bring a sort of philosophical bent to issues that are important. Uh, others say that it's an important constitutional check on our democracy as that expertise uh, is p pursued and it improves legislation. No doubt about it. The House of Lords has done a pretty good bill, I think, holding up the illegal migration bill, getting into the weeds, getting into the detail. Again, a lot of expertise, um, former civil servants uh, 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 looking closely at that bill. Again, I just wonder, what is the expertise that Charlotte Owen, having graduated from York in 2015, what's that extra bit that she's going to bring to the House of Lords that Boris Johnson spotted that nobody else can find. Uh, uh, of course, those who are against the House of Lords tend to say it's undemocratic, 
It lacks diversity. I suppose, to be fair, Boris has ticked that box because she's now the youngest peer. He's made it slightly more diverse. Uh, and, of course, the big accusation is it's stuffed full of cronies. Oh, my God. Um, it feels to me like this young woman working in number 10, not clear what she was doing in number 10, is guilty of a serious dose of cronyism. But I love to hear your views. Uh, you can call me on 0345 6060973. You can text me on 84850 or you can tweet me uh, at, at LBC. I've had a text message from Sarah. She says, Dear David, it absolutely makes a mockery of our parliamentary system, as does the behaviour of Nadine Doris. Oh, my God. I mean, if ever there were a person, Nadine Doris, who is so entitled, she believes she's entitled to be there. What she's done to achieve being there, I'm still trying to work out. But she believes that she was wronged. Uh, Keir Starmer would get a lot of support for a big overhaul uh, of it all, says Sarah.